My name is Terry. I'm an engineer at CMAC, and I wanted to share some tips today about selecting the right microphones for the various productions you might be doing. Most producers worry more about getting great looking shots and sometimes forget about the audio. In my experience, it is the number one problem with video production. Paying attention to the sound of dialogue or the environment known as natural sound will give you a more dynamic production. Always choose your microphone according to your production location or situation and always wear headphones. For interviews, if there's a lot of background noise such as traffic, AC motors, and people talking and laughing, you're better off with a shotgun microphone. This mic has a narrow pickup pattern or is unidirectional, and you can target the subject or sound source more precisely, eliminating unwanted background sounds. It is a mic that can be hidden out of the camera frame. A handheld wireless can also be used if you're getting interviews and need to move around quickly in a crowded room. Hold the mic just below the chin so you do not block their face. The on-camera mic is also a shotgun mic, but you have to get really close like within three feet to get good audio. I suggest you record with a longer shotgun mic on one channel and catch the wild sound or natural sound on the camera mic on the other channel. Learn about splitting channels by checking out other audio tutorials on the X70, Z90, and Canon C100. For recording interviews in a quieter locale like an office or a home, a wired or wireless lavalier or lav would be the best selection. Always be aware of where you place this mic so hair or clothes do not rub up against it and make unwanted sounds. A wired lav is good for someone that is just sitting in a chair or behind a desk not moving around. A road go mic is handy for grab and go lavalier interviews. You can use a wireless lav for someone moving around or walking and talking. It keeps mic cables out of the shot and makes for a much more interesting video. A wireless mic can pick up radio interference from time to time, so monitor the sound closely. Most lav mics are omnidirectional and pick up sounds in all directions. Make sure you have fresh batteries on hand so you don't run out of power in the middle of an important interview. When you position a mic, make sure it doesn't cause plosives. Plosives are from the word explosives, words that have a hard P or B sound that cause a short burst or air shot into a microphone, making an explosive noise. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. In that case, have them speak over the top of the mic or back off slightly. Condenser mics use phantom power to provide a preamplification of the mic. Be sure to use the plus 48 volt switch on the camera or recorder. The C-Max shotguns in wired lavaliers are the ones that require phantom power. There is so much to learn about all the different microphones and their proper use in various recording situations. When in doubt about which mics to select for a project, you can always ask a C-Max staff member to suggest the best equipment. We'll be going into more detail about the correct microphones in certain shooting scenarios such as live performances or studio music recordings in a future tutorial. Remember to pay extra attention to your audio when recording and always wear headphones when you're doing so. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Be smart and be safe. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out our playlist of other tutorials. You can stay up to date on all things CMAC by following us on social media. Learn how you too can become a member with access to equipment, editing tools, and other resources by going to cmac.tv.